I hope you've been enjoying the meditations that we've been having on your psychic page. Um, today I wanted to talk about the benefits of crystals. I think they're very underestimated um, by most people in the effects that they can have. And I, I consider myself actually at one stage one of those persons who underestimated the value of them. Uh, there would be a time when I would have looked at them and thought, well, they're very pretty, but they are just uh, beautiful stones. But actually, that's not really the case. Um, I did a crystal diploma course, and on that course, um, we had to meditate blindfolded with certain crystals, and all of the persons that meditated with the crystals came up with similar feelings from those crystals. So um, I thought I'd like to speak to you about some of the benefits today. Now, one of the things that most people are going through at the moment is stress. So crystals that draw away from that and draw any negativity off are things like malachite. It's quite a beautiful crystal. It's quite green. It's quite lovely. And it's very, very powerful. Some people can't manage malachite. They have to put it with... Um, either rhodochrosite or um, uh, rose quartz crystal to tone it down. It's used quite a lot in crystal therapy. Um, it is a crystal that uh, has quite a lot of power to it. It is. It has in it um, an ingredient in this crystal that means that you can't drop it into a crystal elixir it wouldn't be uh, good that way and you um, need to be a little bit more careful with it which is why only uh, therapists use it most of the time because there ha are some uh, not so much on this but on the rough version toxic properties um, so it has sort of like an element in it of uh, copper or something like that um, that makes it that way but it is a fantastic crystal for drawing away negatives. Can be used in spells as well, uh, as well as your meditations and uh, psychic development. Can be used to um, draw off negativity uh, in a situation. So crystals that make you feel more upbeat, of course, are the quartz crystals and this one here is clear quartz it's a clear quartz terminator and they are also said to alleviate pain and at one stage i had some of them plastered to my body when i had a, a, a bad back um and the really strange thing was that uh, i was asked how's your back and i'd actually forgotten a little bit about it because um, I'd had the crystals and obviously they had alleviated some of the pain. But in meditation, um, quartz is an enhancer. So it enhances your uh, reception, your ability, um, particularly if placed on the third eye. Different crystals for different things. One of the crystals I absolutely love is um, a crystal for mind clarity it's called fluorite and um i used to put it in my kids clothing when they went to school and feed a little bit in their um jumpers and stuff like that in the, the hemlines of their hoodies and stuff uh, uh um so that they would be good in their exams because it is actually quite a if you had a multi-choice crystal it is really quite good for um decisiveness and clarity of mind as is um, this crystal as well. This is for um, sharp mindedness and uh, forward vision. It's really good. It's called Tiger's Eye. Uh, beautiful crystal. Um, once again, if we had to be focused, if we had to um, remain with our eye on the ball, uh, then that's a great crystal. Some of them are grounding crystals and some healing crystals. This is hematite and hematite is a well-known crystal. Um, you get hematite bracelets. Uh, it's, it's very good at drawing off negativity, grounding the person. Um, it can be very effective if somebody suffers from stress. 
some of the crystals are really fantastic in terms of the way they look so this one here a fabulous crystal in the way that it looks um i always see this as an atlantis stone and actually the crystal itself is a shell or like a shell and although i'm not a gemologist it gives me a really good feel it's a if i meditate with it I feel like it's very layered and I could move into other dimensions with this crystal. So all of these crystals are easily obtainable. Blue ones are usually for third eye or communication skills. Uh, uh, there's an array of different crystals on here that you would probably recognise. There's rose quartz. Uh, rose quartz is good for love, self-love as well. Um, brings up the self-esteem. Um, opalite I like fantastic crystal opalite but that it is said that you should only wear it when you feel upbeat because it's a mood amplifier so one wouldn't want to wear it if one was feeling a little bit tetchy because it actually might amplify that and everybody would run for the trees so another crystal that's really good and this will be the last one that i speak about today is um smoky quartz i meditate sometimes with smoky quartz because it gives a really intense meditation so today uh what you're going to do is you're going to sort out your crystals you're going to find those that you would like to meditate with you're going to cleanse them first you're either going to smudge them or you're going to place them with a piece of citrine which will cleanse them and you're going to rest them for uh, the morning at least or, or the evening at least and then meditate with them so that you can place them around you and you can see the effects of those crystals in your meditation task a crystal to do something so if it was rose quartz to make you feel a little bit better about yourself and about uh, other people around you because this is a time of uh some stress uh in terms of what the pandemic has done so i will leave you with this you're going to do in your homework a meditation with crystals i'll, I'll lead you through the uh, uh meditation we're going into a crystal cave so uh, be prepared for that if you don't like caves you don't have to come with us thanks for listening mm -hmm.